Hello everyone, it's Bonnie again with Lewis House on the Prairie. This week we're gonna take a look at my paper planner. I'm gonna tell you why I still have a paper planner and how I use it to get more done each day and to stay organized with my family of five. So come along with me. All right, here we are at my table. This is the happy planner. That's what I've been getting. For planners it doesn't necessarily have to be this brand but here's what I like about it is they offer several different types of pages now the pages I like are totally blank and you have three rectangles per day vertically so I obviously you can see I use this one for morning this one for noon and afternoon and then dinner is the bottom bucket here so this helps me stay organized with what we're making for dinner. So chicken, shredded chicken tacos. I know I need to get meat out. So I filled, pull out chicken up here and I've got that thawing out in, in cold water in the sink. And as you can see, I told myself to film for YouTube and any appointments I have that I have to get to town and I have to do something I also put in my cell phone and I give me an hour notice and 30 minutes notice so that I know to get packed, to get ready, get everything squared away, to head to town and I have physical therapy on my wrist today. So now I have a paper planner for a couple reasons. I'm a very visual person and if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So I was being shocked by the appointments in my phone. And so I needed to see visually, okay, here's my week. What, where can I fit extra stuff in? If I needed to do a play date or um, just to schedule anything, I can look and say, oh, okay, well, I could definitely schedule something on Friday night because after two o'clock, I don't have anything. So this helped me visually see what's going on helps me stay accountable for dinner and what we're making for dinner I also plan my dinners on my magnetic list pad that I have in a previous video it has one side of it is for what you need for groceries and the other side is every day of the week and what you're making so I fill it out on that and then I transfer it into here now how this helps me stay organized and to be more productive is if I have nothing in the morning to do, say tomorrow, we'll take tomorrow because today I'm filming, but tomorrow um, I'm gonna have an extra kid that I watch here at the house and then I'm gonna have nothing to do until 11 when I drive my son to work. He's been sick, so I don't know if he's actually doing that. So I can see that tomorrow I'm gonna have an extra kid here and he's gonna play with my youngest. So I'm gonna have a lot of time where they're occupied and they're busy and I just have to make them a quick lunch. So there are some things I have been meaning to get done around the house, right? Um, so say the bathrooms need cleaned. So I'm gonna fill in here a chore that I know is gonna take me a while, but I should have plenty of time to get it done. I'm gonna fill it in in a contrasting color to draw my, draw my attention to it. And I'm grocery shopping's probably gonna take me, it's a lot of energy for me when I go grocery shopping, and then I put it all away, and then I make dinner, and then I have, um, we have youth group from six to eight. So I'm probably not gonna schedule any chores in here besides doing the dinner dishes. So anytime you see space, and you know there's something you would like to get done, write it down visually. When you have this in the kitchen as you're perusing through your day, you're coming in and out, coming to get coffee, coming to get water, leave this in a space that you walk through a lot and you see this and you have filled in some chores throughout the week, you're a lot more likely to get that done because you've written it down and you see it. And now it, it's, it's written down, it's in a list, well, now I really should do the bathrooms or vacuum, do the vacuuming. So this is how I stay organized. I don't even look at the month at a glance anymore because um, really that's too much. <laughs> I want a week at a time. 
dinners a week at a time, fill everything in. I double up if I have an appointment like physical therapy or dentist appointments. I put that in my phone to make sure it tells me that I need to be there. And I write any notes I need to know. So there's an ornament exchange right here. Bring a snack. I just write that right down so that I'm thinking about it all week. Bring a snack to share. So if I have a snack here and food to share here, I'm probably going to tell myself right here to make cookies. And now it doesn't have to be an emergency and I don't have to swing by the store to get something store bought. I've written it down. I know it's in my plan. Friday night, I'm going to make cookies to make sure I can bring them here. I'm going to have plenty of time before 5 p.m. to make food to share. So I'll probably tell myself to make veggies and dip here so that I know to bring it to the party at night. It is Christmas season. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I really felt like I just kind of floundered through my days before I started doing this and making myself keep a paper planner. It seems old school, but I promise you I get more done this way and I know when to schedule things. I know when not to schedule things. Um, the little red underlines are days that my husband is at work. So I try to make sure we make a bigger dinner so he has leftovers for lunch. Any circle means it's payday. So I always know I'm probably gonna grocery shop that day. Um, so what else? I have a month at a glance calendar on the wall in my kitchen, which I will show you next. It's kind of a wreck, but it does have a purpose. So let's go into the kitchen and we'll see the month at a glance calendar. Here is my calendar that we keep on the wall in the kitchen. It's This is my pantry cupboard here in the kitchen. So it's a month at a glance, anything very important that involves my husband or the kids is gonna go here. So if there's birthdays or different things, like we had an oral surgery scheduled here, we had a Christmas movie that was paid for by my husband's work scheduled there. And so it all, I do transfer it here if it's important. The This is called a note nook calendar. I can link them in the comment section below for them on Amazon. I find them on Amazon. It has a pocket for each month. It's not just one pocket and you flip the calendar. That's very important to me because these are where I keep the bills that need to get paid or anything that is action item that catches our attention. We have to see it. I know it's messy, but it works. <laughs> I love this note nook calendar. So we've got all of our past bills in here and um, everything that we don't need anymore. It just stays in this calendar. At the end of the year, if you need to keep your bills, you can, or you can just throw the whole thing away once you transfer your birthdays over. It does really work for us. I was kind of hoping it would give you some additional inspiration. It only takes a few minutes a week to keep up on everything. So there you have it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or concerns, and I will be happy to address them. Happy planning.